Hey guys, welcome back to another guide. Uh, my other guides seem to be doing pretty well, so I thought I'd do another one. This one's going to be on the EMB system for Skyrim. I'm going to, of course, be doing it for Special Edition, because that's the version I'm running for my game. So, what you're going to first want to do is, I'll have this linked in the description, but there's EMB series is run by a third-party company on a third-party website from Bethesda. So you are going to have to go there directly. I don't believe there's a way to download this through the Steam Workshop. If there is, I do not recommend it. That would be it. It would be bad. So basically, I'll put this link in the description. You can click on that, and then you all you have to do is down in the bottom left, way down here, there's the arrow. You click it. You get this bad boy installed. Uh, you're going to want to extract this to basically the same folder it's in pretty much. And you're going to want to copy what's in the wrapper version. Or you can copy the folder itself. And then we are going to go over to Steam now that you have that copied. You're going to go to your Skyrim Special Edition on the left side here. Properties. Local Files. Browse. And this will go right to your Skyrim EXE folder which is where we are going to have to drop. Uh, I have already done it. What you need to do is you need to go right click new folder EMB backup and put your wrapper version in it because we are going to be overriding this with the preset. So if your preset, um, you say you want to change it one day, uh, you're basically all you have to do is recopy this, drop it back in the folder. It'll overwrite the preset that you download and then you can go get a new preset and overwrite it again. So I'm gonna copy this, what's inside the wrapper version, and I'm gonna drop that into the same folder. This is important as the Skyrim SEEXE. This is where it has to be for it to work. If it is not in this folder, it will not work. So here we go. I have installed the EMB series now into Skyrim. Now you may think, okay, we're done. No, what we really want to do, and once we get all these files into our Skyrim EXE folder, is now we want to go to the Nexus. I already have an EMB I picked out. You're getting manual install. If it says automatic install, ignore it. Never, ever, ever, ever automatically install an EMB preset. Always manually install. Uh, I'm just looking for vivid weathers here because that's the mod I'm currently running. I may or may not be blind, and of course I am. So manual install. We're gonna give this a few seconds here. Uh, oh, choose option. Uh, then you don't actually let me click anything. Who knew that? You must be logged in. Oh, that's why I'm logged out. All right, give me a second here. Sorry about that little hiccup. Slow download. This is going to start downloading and it's going to go right into here. You can see how many times I've downloaded uh, the EMB series, uh, but that's fine. So we're just going to let this tick up. So this is basically um, in this EMB pre or uh, in this EMB software that you get uh, from EMB dev. It has a whole bunch of categories in it, a whole bunch of customization. So a preset is somebody went through it and set it for you. You could play with it yourself, but it is extremely advanced. So I really don't recommend it. Okay, here we are. We are of course going to extract that to the same place I always do, which is its own little folder inside. We have main files to install, depth of field, strength, so that's where all those options are. But here you go. Uh, uh, do I want to destroy my computer or color correction? Uh, I already have a lot of the mods installed. So let's just let's just be friendly to our computer today. So now that we got that, you can also uh, actually I'll probably do that myself. I'm going to cut this folder and I'm going to take it with me. So you know the drill. You'd go uh, Steam, Skyrim SE, Properties, Local Files, Browse. Of course, uh, we already have it open at this point. We're going to drop this guy here. So now we have a backup of this. So you can see I would have to be reinstalling my EMB quite a bit to find the version I want. So that's where having the EMB backup wrapper version is good. 
replace the files in the destination with your preset. Now you have your preset installed. Now we can actually get Skyrim up and running and I'll give you a quick preview of what that looks like. All right, so here we are at the main menu and you know you have the EMB installed properly when you see it in the top left here. There is of course an option to bring up the menu, but like we said, when you have a preset, you don't need to bring up the menu unless you want to change the FPS counter and a few other things like that. But I'm fine with it for now. I'm just going to hit continue, see what my last save is like and see what this EMB is like. Uh, it should already start affecting things. So this guy should already be affected by the lighting. Uh, it's hard to say because this is one furry boy. And the fur in Skyrim never looked better. I mean, he looks like uh, one of those dolls you get from a Happy Meal. So here we go. Yeah, so the lighting is already as I can see. As I walk into the thing, I'm not using controller. Way better. Let's go out of here. You know, standard Skyrim SE loading times when you install about 30 mods. The worst I've ever done was I went, I think I went uh, 300 mods deep. And I managed to get about 30 minutes of play time every time I'd boot up the game before it would crash. But as you can see... The uh, realistic EMB adds a nice, nice lighting effect to the game. You can see the shade is very nice, very realistic. Like it looks like it really would be like this. Of course, the best spot to always test your EMB is to come over into the fields of Whiterun. Warning, maybe full of giants. And uh, I'm pretty happy. So. Like I showed you, all you really have to do is you have to get the main EMB install file, create a backup folder in your Skyrim EXE folder, copy your contents, find your favorite preset on the Nexus, drop that bad boy in, and then you can get something like this running. As you can see, EMBs do destroy your frame rate, especially if you have a large amount of mods. Oh, we're just going to uh, toggle God mode on here while I run around. And uh, it really also changes the color of the game. So your preset really defines the, the feel of your game. Because it's not just the lighting. It's basically the entire visual system gets remade into a way... Uh, I never saw that shiny, shiny mud. Look at it. It's like, uh, it's like you're going skiing or something and the light just burns in your eyes. Only real Canadians understand that one. But yeah, it... It adds uh, an effect and it refreshes the game a lot. Um, if you have something like I do, like the enhanced lighting effects, they are cross compatible. The enhanced lighting effects or real lighting effects mods basically just change location and lighting effects. Whereas the EMB goes through and changes how it functions and how it's visible. So enhanced lighting and effects might finally move the lighting of this and root into the correct location and change the radius around the Nern root so that nothing really is out of place. So you can put multiple lighting things together, but you cannot have two EMBs, of course, because you can only have one setting running at once. And uh, here you got the reference to Lady of the Lake. You know, she's got an Orcus sword, apparently. The lay in the lake. Well, I mean orcs are elves, so it, pff, it works. I think it was an elf in the Witcher. You had to fight an old man with a cane. Not good times. So I'll thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can install an EMB on your own. And uh, if you watched this far, let me know if you have any questions in the comment. I can go through, answer anything. There's, of course, ways to uh, make your EMB run better than what I have. There's a few settings you can toggle. There's a few things like that. And in the future, just let me know if you're struggling with a mod or something like that, and I'll make a guide on it. Anything for, for building up this community? I mean, my first two guide videos have done pretty well, so I'm hoping to expand on it. And I mean, I'm in IT, so creating guides and technical stuff really is now my field of expertise. So thank you guys for watching. Ooh, you get that really nice closing effect on the fire there with the EMB. I hope you enjoyed, 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.